Restaurants and movies appear Amusement parks and ocean piers Or we're built in love by family Atlantic City's face A changing place Time to lead the way See the old become the new. Remember yesterday. Rolling chairs and Charlie cars, Ferris wheels and movie stars. For we're built in love by family. Atlantic City, my hometown. to the postcard show. What I have in my hand here is the way that they get tucked away in the binders. Very nice. We're going to be pulling these out of here. Some, someday, them someday. Let's see if we don't have to pull them out of there one time. Wait, Eric, get started when we get going. All right, we're, we're not ready yet. We're going to have to we're pull them out We're going to maybe have to pull them out of here. We're just going to just try a few open camera moves and tricks, and if it works, we'll use it. Here's this story. Yeah. Everybody, please call someone else. We don't have money to advertise in the papers or on uh, public radio or anything like that. We need the public support to notify everybody that we come on every Sunday at 2, same time, same station. And we need people to, uh, at, uh, if it's in the fall, to hit the remote about half time, come over to us, mm. learn something about Atlantic City, New Jersey, the world's playground. Uh, this is my twin brother, John. He's my co-host. Uh, without him, I wouldn't know a lot of the history because he read the book. The Book of the Boardwalk. Having read the book, Today. I'd love to turn you on. Okay, so what we're going to do... Beatles. Beatles. We're going to turn everybody on to AC postcards. We have a really strange card up there. Most of the sports went down in the inlet. Most of the baseball went down at Inlet Park, which would be... Baccarat Field, I right. assume? Well, this is the main tent of the lifeguards right here at South Carolina Avenue. I agree with that. We'll move it around. Let's see here. We'll Joe's, pan it Joe's out. Joe's our panner. One. Yeah. There it is. There's Applegate's Pier in the background. This is South Carolina Avenue, the beach. Here's the guys trying to get you to go play base plus ball at the Inlet Park, which would be Baccarat Field up by Captain Starnes. Now, our Gardner's Basin, as it's known today. That's where Holy Spirit you, played. As you pan it, there's a hot dog guy. As you pan it, I'm gonna pan you, you, Jack. You come, you come to the ice cream guy. He's selling ice cream down here. Ice cream. Now they don't allow all them horses and everything. Right now, look at that. 
You forgot the horse. The horse is there. We've got the baseball <laughs> sign on him. There he is. And Mr. Ed. Man, that's a bunch of horse there. Look at the yeah. size of this guy. And then he's uh, selling ice cream, hot dogs, everything on the bomb. I'm glad they regulated that a little yeah, bit. South eh? Carolina Avenue and the BGS in the main tent. Yeah, that. Uh, Back it over. Which way? I want to show something. Which way? This way, baby? What's this? What is that? That's, that's the, the city flag. That's the city flag. What's this? That's a red cross flag. What are you leaning it forward for? Oh, man. And here is the American flag. The red cross. Rainbow on air, man. The Red Cross just had their uh, telephone. Yeah, they some time back every year. $60,000 every year, yeah. That's right. But there it is. That's a unique card showing the get the baseball at 3.30 p.m. out the Inlet Park. Is that why they call them beach uh, tents, beach tents today? That's why even? they were called beach tents at the time, because they were actually a tent. The doctor was in there. If you got uh, hurt or injured, you, they took you here. Listen, every year in Atlantic City, we have the uh, Miss America pageant. Right. Here's the first one. There's the first pageant on a postcard. There it is, from the steel pier, looking towards Garden Pier, with the breakers in the St. Charles. Well, that's the up. lifeguards there, up front. That's the lifeguards going through. This the is the lifeguards first. coming through here? Yeah, right here. See these guys? Oh, here. That's the lifeguards. Here's Miss America's float, right there. Right. And then a continuous the lifeguard. Came, but they came out of Keith's Theater and down onto the beach by a big steps here on Garden and walked this way. So what year is it? To Steele. It's 1921. It'd be the first Miss American pageant. Right there it is. Held on Garden Pier. Held on Garden Pier in the beach. They what were, else was held at Garden Pier? Holy Spirit High School graduation. All that back then, yeah. Dances. A lot of things. I got a picture of Houdini hanging from here. Who? Houdini. Houdini? He's, he was an escape artist. Yeah, he escaped. Hello, flower parade, boardwalk. Isn't that something there? There it is. Same crowds, Miss America Patent, both sides of the boardwalk, right down the boardwalk, right. from New Jersey Avenue to Albany, pretty much. Every year they hold the pageant in September. And there used to be a lot of parades, and occasionally there are now. And they had the lifeguards get up there in their parade there. Look at the rolling chairs along the rail there. How about that? How about the lifeguards? Let me point out the rolling chairs. Look at that. Uh, hold it. There Look at all go. those rolling chairs down there. And then these are the lifeguards here? That's them. They got a boat. See the boat? They're carrying a boat. Oh, yeah. Here well, we go. that's nice. Yeah. Look at that. Hey, who's that? That looks like all them lifeguards. It's all the, it's Norman Draper and Charlie Draper. Absolutely. <laughs> the Sarkis <laughs> brothers, Brownie. everybody we the know. The Sarkis brothers, there's Stephen Donico. Everybody, Donico. Mike Festa, everybody. Everybody. Boy, well, can like, I, there you go. Everybody. Everybody Eric was a lifeguard. Alan Moss, Paul Carr. Everybody's children today are lifeguards. They don't have uniforms like this. We've got to talk to Norm. But they uh, uh, they uh. all got a pension from Lang City, all them guys. And I always liked the awning thing. I used to walk it as a kid. You could right. walk out of the sun. Stay out of the sun and don't get feet burnt. So uh, what else did the lifeguards do on the beach besides just look at the girl? Uh, water. Drink beer what? in the stand? Yeah. Just look at the water. <laughs> How many of them girls will walk past they that? They the waves. Uh, yeah, wave. No, they actually, there's the best rescue force in the, in the world. You no, know, they don't have all that Australian nonsense. These guys work 48 beaches every year, and they save lives. There's no joke about it, man. These guys deserve every dime they get. It's not Baywatch. Better than Baywatch. Uh, we're not, well, Here's one for you. Lifeguards should get a pension. That's not political, it's just a, a the life, act of life, right? The lifeguards that had long hair in the 60s that they forced to get crew cuts should stay there and get that pension for, for what was done to them. Well, there's a lot of things that go down. I'd like to see more rules well, enforced What's on this the here? What are we looking at here? This is a, a lifeguards or Atlantic City Municipal employee. Oh, no, that, no, no, no. This is the head of the lifeguards. Doing calisthenics. Doing right? calisthenics with the people of Atlantic City by the recreation department would come down here at the Virginia Avenue Beach and actually hold calisthenics. This guy's doing deep knee bends here. You see him? I don't know Please. too many of the lifeguards today can do that. I don't think anybody's doing that, Marty. Mm -hmm. Sit-ups and deep knee <laughs> I don't even... Look at the playgrounds. You can't even find overhand bars. Remember them? It was like a ladder and you overhand yourself. But there's exercises performed by the Atlantic City lifeguards in a recreational situation at Virginia Avenue in the beach. Right off the side of Steel Pier, the photograph was taken at. It's right? actually taken from like the roof or WFP, the picnic, uh, when you go up to have your picnic. Uh, you could go there in the morning, put your picnic bag with your lunch at a particular seat. Hundreds of people all put their bag where they're going to come back and eat lunch, and your bag would be there when you come back. You see that today? 
Somebody be selling that bag in Maryland, yeah. Maryland and Arctic. I got one for you. Here's one for you. <laughs> Exercise, how many of us today can do about 10 or 20 or 30 of them? Let's just we don't even want to do that. So he's, uh, I don't even want to do them. That's the uh, municipal exercise. That's uh, the municipal exercises. Touch at your toes. Remember that? Touch your toes. Do deep knee bends, sit-ups, everything. Oh, Nobody can do that anymore. And then what was another thing? We, all the games on the beach that used to be played besides, you know, trying to pick up a, oh. a young lady. Buck, buck. What's buck, this? buck. This is tug of war. Well, tug of war. I oh, know, it's a beach toss. Somebody's being tossed up in a blanket. See those? Let me get my magnifying glass. Yeah. Out. I can't tell. Looky here, I'll tell you since you can't see. Those circular things you see yeah. are blankets. And it's like for the blanket toss. This is a big blanket. Like a tambourine, like you can jump out of a fire and land in the net, right? Yeah, speak softly and carry a red pen, will you? Yeah, well, if you would have brought the pointers, we wouldn't have to use a red well, pen. That's, here's here the they point. are here. They're getting ready to toss somebody up and down in a blanket. Remember that? We used yeah. to do that. That was great. Remember the uh, people, uh, parents, to go into the water, they'd bury their kid uh, in the sand up to their neck, and then they'd get an opportunity to go swimming. <laughs> well, what do you got here? Steeplechase and steel going after the Marine Ballroom. No water surface yeah. yet. Well, that's got to be South Carolina Avenue on the beach yeah, again, right? here right? again, yeah. What do we got over here? Anybody? Crowds, I'll tell you. Here is South Carolina and the beach. There's the There's main tent at South Carolina Avenue and the beach. They're starting to get wood. Yeah. And the ranch, where's the buckets? Yeah, yeah, you can't bring that sand in it. Yeah. You gotta duck your foot in that water. This structure does not look like it would be able to hold the uh, unmercantile licensed uh, vending machines, though, like it does today. Oh, man. Oh. Don't kick. Who gets that money? Hold on, here's one. Ding. Now, there it is, the traditional stand. Hmm. Isn't that great? Look at that. The rollers, the boat. That's Thank great, man. Stand. Hold still. Let me look at this here. He's bringing a castle in the sand. Yeah, these, these guys here, does that mean you? No, nah, we're both the same age and the same size. What man. beach is that? I'd say Boston Avenue. Oh, <laughs> can't make it up like that. <laughs> who's, who's, like who's in the tent here? Ron Kershio and... Uh, Some of them guys have been on for years. Ron Kershio, the first East Coast surfer, bro. Yeah, we'll flip back and forth, though. I should have put this one first. It's uh, a rescue. He's got the baby. Look at everybody in their clothes. So her clothes got wet and drowned her. Well, that, that bathing suit had to be heavy. I mean, it was yeah. all wool from toes to neck. And yeah, that uh, doesn't look like... All right, uh, I see, what are they doing? They're uh, giving her... Just stretching what's her this? Out, man. It's not breast resuscitation or whatever that's done. Right, and this now, guy's down here in a suit and a tie and a hat. And if the skirt got too short, up come the cop. That's <laughs> right. Uh-oh. Uh Hey, you got it. Oh, look, you know why? Why? So you're showing a little skin down here by the ankle. Yeah, well, today's different. I see uh, in the past here, just uh, as we go along, the Miss America patch is going two-piece again since well, you, 47. You know what I read in the Butler's Book of the Board? That this guy locked this lady up, and she hauled off and smacked him dead in the face. It's in the book, the history books. When he tried to enforce this ordinance, because they would take these stockings, and they'd roll them down. They'd roll them down to mm. show their legs to the guys, and this guy would come and lock them up. What a party pooper bum out he was, huh? Yes. Look at him. Especially before, maybe he did, a, did us a favor if it was before the electric razor and everything. You never know. They uh, swam here. Hygiene there pool. There you go. Everybody likes that hygiene pool game. But these were the restaurants of it, am I correct? Yeah, you notice uh, even the men had shirts on. I knew who the first guy was who took his shirt off on the beach in protest and um, may have gotten arrested. He got arrested for it. himself, and then he led a protest, uh, a march of hundreds and hundreds of people up the boardwalk, yeah. protesting the fact that guys couldn't wear trunks. They had to wear, they had to be covered from the neck to the waist, and then the bathing suit to almost to the knees, where you weren't allowed on the beach. Do you know his name? Yep. What was his name? Rubart Hope. I mean Robert Hope. Rubart H. Hope. Yeah. Robert Hope. How about that? Right. A.K.A. Um, Howard Hughes. Yeah, also known right. as. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We were talking about games on the beach. Above here, what do you think it says above that? I can't, can you see it there in the car? Yeah, Leapfrog. I remember Leapfrog. Yeah. yeah. And well, Leapfrog that, became Buck Buck, right? That became Buck Buck to us, yes. There's a lifeguard boat behind him. Well, now, cheerleaders still do this stuff when they do their rah-rah stuff. Oh, yeah, rah, rah, rah. Mm -hmm. Here's one. Look at that one. Now, what's that mean? Oh, are they sitting in chairs? Yeah. They're or, in chairs with wicker back, like, fan backs. 
Yeah, that's weird. I think she's on the seesaw or something. Completely covered, though. What Pretty is she clever. on? Can you tell what she's on? Oh, probably. She's yeah. up like this. Uh, no, maybe, uh, well, I don't know. Maybe it's a, a seesaw, but... Uh, it looks like a seesaw or something. Oh, yeah. Well, they're really out there looking at the well, camera. Well, when you come to Atlantic City, you know what you saw. You know what you see, don't you? Yeah, the sea? Yeah, I saw yeah. it. You saw it. I saw the sea. Scene one, scene them all. Uh, man and woman. Uh -huh. Well, that's really way back. This is when there's buildings on the outside of the bulwark, and the bulwark was just laid down flat wood along the strand. Hello. Along the strand. And actually, where this water is hitting this beach, it's from Main. It's from. It's from. Uh, it's along Main Avenue back to Captain Starnes, from Captain Starnes to Hackney's. That's where they're at. Hello. Uh oh. Watch it. Uh, what are they diving into the? Uh, what's that one of them groins? And they're diving into the uh, ocean, or is it in the mm, back? That's bay? probably back by Starnes and all. They better be careful. You hit something submerged under there. This one says there are plenty of nice girls in Atlantic City. Come here and have some real good fun. Oh. Da -da -da. First Miss America pageant? What I is don't it? know what that is. They're all lined up there, though. There's a lot of them. One, two, three, four, five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. There's about 40 or 50 people there posing right. for a picture. Now, here's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. We're going to get a little bit more modern with these uh, postcards concerning the beach. Like that modern. Umbrellas. That's how we knew it. Yeah. Chelsea yeah. and the beach. Here's where, when the sand got real hot, this is where you wanted to get your feet. You wanted to get your Remember feet there, deal? and you wanted to get your feet there, and then go to there, and then when you there go was to a beach. and try to get down into that cool water. When there was a beach. Oh, yeah. Well, there's a beach now. Well, what would you do? You'd just take a towel and go to the beach. That's it. And w what would the towel do? You'd run about 50 feet and drop that towel down there. Well, that's the that way towel. the out-of-towners would do it. If you were local, you knew you could walk, and all you had to do was just kick your one foot right. to the left and one to the right and move the first half inch of sand Take off the top, and that sand underneath was only about 50 degrees, and you just sit, stand there in the cool sand and get ready to run again, because we used to have beaches that were two, 300 yards long. Yeah, like Wildwood has today. Has to, yeah. well, that's our sand down there. I hear you. But um, why don't they keep that theme going? That was nice. Somebody told me that they, the WPA, WPA was it? Workers? Workers? Something. I don't know what it was called. Yeah, 1930s. Yeah, Roosevelt. Uh, they had people work and they would pay them just like, um, what the heck would they call it nowadays? I don't know. You, what, work CCC, fair or something. Yeah. They would come and they built this as jobs. They would build this thing here. This is States Avenue. That's nice. And they made it look nautical looking and all. Yeah, when they're all laydowns. Bunch Everybody's of lay -downs laying down today. Yeah, here you go. All right. Like you say, Atlantic City brings you women. Mm -hmm. I found out this is 1947. Is that B. Brown and uh, the Panelinas and the Lockney? I have no idea. I think it's... Uh, what is that? It's Margaret Lockney, Agnes Lockney, Alice Lockney, Sandy. Sandy Marie Lockney. <laughs> A couple of Lockheads. <laughs> and a couple of uh, Thelma uh, Lockney. Here you go, growing up. Put um, There you go. That's Taking nice. a little brother to the beach, need you? Yeah, you know they're related. You don't know they're related. What are you talking about? Well, they're not dating. He's only a little kid. <laughs> da -da -da. Cabanas. There you go. I like that. I like that. That's a nice shot. It's an artist little thing. I like that. Well, most things Who did that, Luke? Yeah, Lou's you Artist, Lou's artist yeah. Village. That was neat. He yeah. was out there. Here's a few. Hey, where's now, that from? A shot. Tell me where it is. Well, let's see. They had to be up. Yeah. I'd say that's, what would this be, Kentucky Avenue? Well, I, I think this is from the roof of the Mayflower. Mayflower. Mayflower? How about their first, no, maybe this mm. is Illinois. Maybe this is uh, from the roof of the Tramor Dome. Mm. It's pretty high up there. Boy, they had some uh, setups, uh, beach look chairs, this, umbrellas, look, look and cabanas. Look at this thing right along here, and they are set up there. And I remember working one of these things, and in the morning, you know what your first job was? Yeah, sweep that You had to sweep this walk off. See this walk here, and this yeah. walk here, and all the way down there, and all the way back? You had to stand there and sweep this sucker. So he never really did it right, oh, did What it? happened here? Uh -oh. They're losing power. Hello? Yo, Eric, my man. Oh, oh hello. there you go. Hey. Something happened. Okay, let's just see how the beach really was great during, just after World War II. It really became a wild scene. Look at that. That's West from Million Dollar Pier. There's your Rich, your Ambassador, your Chelsea, your Deauville, your uh, Austin, and your President. 
Your Admiral, no, what was those apartments at uh, Lincoln Place in the beach? The Lincoln. Marine Apartments, and this is with the Riviera down here, and here's the Oxford down here. That and was Vantner. it. Vantner. Right. Check out that beach wrapped around like that. Wasn't that beautiful? Hey, get a cabana out in front of the Ritz, right? Yeah, it's out in front of the Ritz. There's Champ. Them cabana things, Johnny Desiree. <laughs> yeah, they were all there. Is. I remember in the 60s, no. Jerry Blavitt had uh, two or three of these here. Yeah, man, isn't that nice? Yeah. Get a phone. No, now you don't need to hook up a phone. You, know what, sailor, they, right? you know what they always did, though? What did they, they always, always did do? That, that right there. Yeah, put an American flag. Slide it over a little bit more. Look, here's another oh, one. Oh, right another there. one, yeah. yeah. Well, that's where they knew where they were coming from. How about how pretty this is? Wow. Yeah. Beach Cabana. What's this over here? Well, uh, there's that facade of the uh, Warner. All right, there's the Warner, Warner Theater. Nice. Shelburne, Dennis, Claridge. Cabanas. The, the Wild Wild West is here now. Oh, yeah. Here's Wild Wild uh, Marble Blenheim. That would be outside Ohio Avenue, correct? That is right at Ohio Avenue in the beach. Hello. First it was the cabanas, then it was the chairs, and then you could even rent the chairs and the umbrellas. And, the, and uh, like we used to do on our first jobs as kids, 11, 12, 13, take the pads down and the umbrellas down. All that. And we used to come down here from Central Junior High School and have gym classes right here. Oh, remember all that? Remember the gym classes? They play soccer. And and the game was whoever got in the water first this season. Well, it was fall in the uh, football in the fall, and baseball in the spring. Right, but I mean, during, as as Memorial Day was coming, you had to be in the water first, and we'd even from school break run in the water. Break the ice. Break the ice. It used to be called. You know, and actually, you'd cut a popsicle, bury a popsicle stick. Cut you know, like that game they play now, where you pull it and pull it and pull it, and then it falls apart on the last guy to oh, pull yeah. the. You used to do that, and if it fell apart on you, or you got the tooth, uh, the uh, popsicle stick, you, you had to go in the water. Oh, I know another game how everybody, the, the, the bullies would pick the guys up or the girls up and uh, throw them in the water. Just throw them in the water. Drag them to the water and throw them in. Yeah, here it is. Look at that beach look cabana at that, look scene. At, look at that scene. Park Place. Mm -hmm. Bulwark and Park Place. There's oh. the train more in the, in the background. Come on, Michigan to Tennessee, right? Uh, side of Million Dollar Pier. How about Arkansas to uh, okay. Tennessee? This Very nice. Be, this would be central here. Here, walkways, everything. Huh? Hey, See, I thought that picture before was from the top of here. Maybe looking straight down at the Kentucky Avenue Possible. Beach, which is this concession. Okay. You know that pen's getting on my nerves. I'll tell you that right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but well, how about take, that? Take it. Take it from me. Yeah. Okay, I'll get you. Okay. All fair, babe. All right. All right. What's this? You tell me. South Carolina and the beach. Headquarters. That's right. Right there. Cabanas to the right in red would face the west east setting it's get, sun. It's getting close to winter time. Okay. Don't so step all over me when I'm talking. Can I say something here? Look at this particular item here. Who's that? Longo Beach Cabanas, right? That would be the Chalfont and the Haddon Hall Beach Cabanas. And further out, look at that. Rows and rows and rows of chairs and this town was popping. Uh, I think one thing I thought was good, uh, even though the casino era came here and they have cabanas out here, a couple of the casinos tried to say like uh, that was off limits, you couldn't even walk in there, like if you were like a peasant, I mean like a regular citizen. And uh, I got to give Chief uh, Levy of the Atlantic City Beach Patrol some credit there. He, they had a sign that said, no trespassing, keep out, hotel. If you were a regular, you were a regular kid and you got caught and you back, hey, get out of there. They right. make like this was private and then they told them, no, the beach is not owned by any particular hotel. They can work Beast. out front, but you can't say, hey, you, or get out of here. They can't restrict anybody. You could take and go lay up right next to that, and That's they right. straighten that this out. This guy could be paying $5,000 a day. You're allowed to be right next to him without paying a thing. Right. Free beach. We're right. against beach fees. Atlantic not City political. is a free beach. Come down here and use our beach. You don't have to buy no beach tags and none of that nonsense. Come to Atlantic City. Which don't is the law, by the way. Well, look, state law is you're supposed to be accommodating people to be able to come to that beach. You got the State Natural Parks Act, and those beaches are a park. They're a state park. Right on. And they should be free to everybody that pays taxes. Hip. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Yeah, it's cute. Isn't it cute? Well, it's a postcard. No matter what the postcard is, we collect the postcards, Atlantic mm -hmm. City. I just thought I'd show you that. All right, that's the view from... Uh, Terry John's apartment on the 16th floor of the Ritz looking east. Now the city went and put in dunes. I think they're ugly, but uh, 
fall, if the ocean destroys the bulwark again and those dunes are not there, FEMA will not torque up the eight or nine million to rebuild the bulwark. So we have to have them in order to get the money from FEMA if we have a net major storm. But at Iowa Avenue and Jackson Avenue and other places in early AC. That was it right there. There it is. I would say that that's States Avenue and the beach. Oh. Outside the rear entrance of the United States Hotel. Four minutes left in the show, John. You want to go to book? Well, not right you now. You don't want to give a photograph? Just, yeah, we'll do that. I'll try to show a few photographs. Right. What, I, what I wanted to do is just see what what happens if we would do something like that. Nothing. Where what is that? Is that? That's uh, Music Hall Theater, Steel Pier. Well, you remember going in there and coming down these long side balconies to get close and down this side? And the closer you got, that's where you paid the quarter. You or, could go further. Right here, you couldn't go down front unless you paid this guy a quarter. How about right where is here? It? Right there? All right, right there. There's a guy right. collecting the money right there. There he is. You can go further. You down. had to get that extra ticket. Now, years later, I, I sat up in here, and Jerry Lee Lewis and everybody was on the beach there. Move him down. I will. Nine Try Snails that. and Mail Smith, how about this? Sousa and his band. That? This is too much. How about that? Man, that's too fast. Slow that? it down. Steel Pier. Slow down. We're going to try to work that away because if we... There it is. That's the Marine Ballroom. That's the back of it. I saw the Rolling Stones, Ricky Nelson from here in 57, the Rolling Stones from here in 65, the Animals, Eric Burden. I saw the... Uh, uh, hey, Jake, Jake French, his wife, wife, and all doing the speedboat and stuff. Who's that? I don't know. Oh, Phil Whiteman. Paul Whiteman. Paul Whiteman in his orchestra. We're youngsters. Yeah, I know him too, though. I look at that. that. Is that beautiful? All right, isn't that wild? But look at this picture here. I got a picture for yeah, everybody. Yeah, that's Johnny in the guy's arms there. Hold on. What's this? John's got the Does book this of work? the bulwark. Does that work? Frank Butler's, Butler's book, of the, book of the bulwark. We're going to have to figure out another angle so we can hold stuff up to the camera uh, coming up. This is the book that tells you everything. So try to get your hands on it. Watch this. I'm going to show you a picture. Up that end where you just see of the Royal of the Royal Palace Hotels, never been seen before. Here we go. We're gonna try to do it. Let's try it Let's out. Let's try it out. There it is. Pacific Looking the towards beach. Captain Starnes, Pacific Avenue and the beach, the Royal Palace Casino and Hotel, and here's a home at the corner, right there, of Oriental and the Bulwark. Look at that. That's is that fabulous? All right. All right. Back to us. We're we out of here. Whoop. Yeah. Uh oh. Hey, Things here happen. we are. This is our set. This is Atlantic City today behind us. We come to you each Sunday at 2 p.m. Call some friends, have them tune in. We're going to run this show to 1999. That's how many postcards I have. I've been collecting <laughs> postcards for 15 years. They started at 25 cents, went to 35 cents, 75 cents, buck and a quarter. All right, then we're going to get to the rock and roll because I've had it with these uh, cars. We're going to do 53 shows for Channel 53, and we're going to run them the whole year of 1998 and 99. And in the meantime... No, till 99. Till. January. Till, question mark. Yeah, and then we're going to do other things for uh, this particular station. All right, here's the theme song. You hear it beating up there? Yeah, man. I don't hear it. Uh, I don't hear it out here, but... Get shorty. I know it's there. Listen, read our credits. A lot of people have helped us put this show together, including the Fliz. New York has its lady. San Francisco, the bay. Paris has its tower. London, its queen. Town I was born in might change from old to new. That's something I must tell you. I've got sand in my shoes. I'll never leave Atlantic City. I'll never go. Too far away I'll never leave Atlantic City On the boardwalk the song People come every day Taking the sun and 
walk on its beaches, might ride in rolling chairs. When they look at the brand new, think of the old days, things they used to do. Atlantic City, my hometown, I won't forget Atlantic City, I'll never leave and go to far.